Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In software engineering, one must know what are objects and what are classes and relationship between these two. What is an object in computing world? The concept of objects in computing world is brought much closer to what we experience in real time world. You have three different telephone objects in front of you. Each of these telephone objects is identified with unique telephone number. There are certain attributes or data points that describe these phones that is the color, size, length of the cable, length of the headset. There are certain functions each of these objects performs that is ringing. Similarly, if you take aeroplane objects, each of these aeroplane objects is identified with unique flight number. It has certain data points like the number of seats, the color, the number of engines and they perform certain functions called flying that is takeoff, landing and flying in the air. So the category of telephone performs the functions like ringing. The category of aeroplane performs certain functions or behavior called flying. So they are unique to that kind, that category of these objects. This behavior is unique to this category of objects. The telephone category objects won't fly. They just ring. The aeroplane category objects won't exhibit the same behavior as that of the telephone objects. So bringing the same concept to computing world, we have bank account as object. Each bank account object has unique identifier called account number. They have certain data points like what's the balance, when it got created, what kind of the account it is. Those are the data or attributes that describe these objects. Each of these objects we can perform certain functions, opening an account, closing an account, depositing certain money onto account, withdrawing money from the account. So the object one is different from object two because they have unique identifier called account number. So like this, we have multiple objects. So exactly on the same analogy of what we experience in physical world, we build the concept of objects in the software computing world. Let us now understand what is a class. Class is a blueprint that defines and describes the objects that get born out of the class. For example, just like what we have seen in case of objects, we also see the same three compartments, means the name, the attributes, properties, data or behavior and operations in case of class also. It's just that it is a logical concept. So, if you take the case here, that is class bank account class, all the objects that generate out of this bank account class has the same data points and operations. It's just that they have different values. So, in case of a class, we define, look, this is the class name and this is what is the data points and these are the operations it functions. So, if you go back here, the class has certain attributes, certain operations. Those are the blueprint for the objects that get generated out of it. So, class is actually encapsulation of data on operations. Means it encapsulates the heterogeneous aspects like data on operations within one capsule called class. So, in case of a tablet, you see a homogeneous same type of particles. That's why you see a same color. Whereas, in case of a capsule, if you open it, you have multiple different aspects of molecules inside it. Heterogeneous molecules inside it. So, that's where we see data and operations are brought together inside a capsule through the concept of encapsulation and we have one class name appended on top of it. So, if you wanted to understand 
the relationship between class and object. Class gives birth to objects. Class is the blueprint for the objects that get instantiated out of it. So coming to our example, the object 1 and object 2 are instantiated out of our class name called class bank account and each of these objects are unique in their existence. So friends, it is very important to understand the difference between class and object because in software engineering, we deal with classes and objects quite frequently. Thank you.